So there are a ton of really amazing cyberware mods in Cyberpunk 2077 that you don't really want to miss, especially since many of these can truly elevate your build to the next level, or even more so make some of your already existing installs that much more interesting. And in this video I'm gonna concentrate on about a dozen of these, most of which you can get for absolutely free, and even more so quite a few of them very early on in the game. So let's jump right into it, and as always, if you enjoyed this video at any point, also don't forget Forget to leave a thumbs up on it. Let's begin with the Mantis Blades and there's two really amazing damage modifiers that you can get very early in the game. One of them is the Thermal Damage Blade and the other one is the Electrical Damage Blade, both of which can be acquired for free. So getting started with the Thermal Blades, you can actually get two of these during the same mission called the Pickup, which is essentially the one where you infiltrate one of the Maelstrom hideouts. But essentially the first one is going to be in the very first room where you start the fight with the Militech. So as you plan your escape, there's going to be um, this container right next to the wall on to the left side. So you should see it right about here and it's going to contain um, the first thermal blade for you. And the second one, in case the first one is missing, is going to be in a small box in the hallway right before the final room with the main encounter, be it Royce as a boss or the other Militech agents and robots. And it's going to be right in front of this gate right here in the small container and you can go ahead and grab it right away. But this has a really interesting effect because it now grants you a pretty good chance to also set enemies on fire, making the Mantis Blades even more amazing and efficient at taking down human enemies. And not just human enemies, pretty much everything since you can easily set everything on fire. The second set is going to be the Electrical Damage Blade Upgrade, also for free during an assault in progress that you can find right here in North side Watson and it's possible to get this very early in the game like you don't even need to do too many missions as long as you reach this area so make sure you take down all of the enemies first and you will encounter the damage blades inside this container onto the left side in front of a bunch of other crates so it's gonna be on to the left side of your main objective the effect as it implies it shocks enemies and since you have fast attacks you can shock them all the time and it's gonna be very effective against drones and robots. Now the third piece for the Mantis Blades unfortunately is not a free one but something that you actually pay for. Um, quite a big sum of money about 7,000 euro dollars and you also need a bit of street cred for that but it's also one of the best legendary mods in the game because it massively increases the Mantis Blades attack speed by 45%. You get this by the way from the Ripper Dock in Japantown in Westbrook and it's gonna be right next to this mega building waypoint right here on this side of the the map. It's gonna give you, as I've said, a really huge speed increase, which makes the Mantis Blades that much more damaging. Moving on next, let's talk a bit about a few really awesome upgrades for your Kiroshi Optics. Of course, we already talked about that if you go to Victor, you can get the best quality, which is the epic one, and it also holds up to three mod slots for that. We also talked about the fact that one of the best first investments in this should be your trajectory analysis, since it gives you some of the best damage in the game. So this is gonna give you an increased headshot bonus damage by 50% and it does cost a bit over there like 20,000 eddies but it is going to be absolutely worth it. But there is one upgrade that you can get for free relatively early and it will make combat a lot easier and that's gonna be the threat detector that automatically highlights all of the enemies who have already detected you in any combat scenario. So you can either buy this from Victor or other Reaper Dogs but you can also get it for free in Arayo. So it's gonna be right here on this side of the map, right beneath one of these bridges, a bit northwest of the waypoint in the area. So once you reach this point, you're going to notice that between these containers, there's going to be a bunch of enemies. Just go ahead and take them down and in this main bag right here, right next to this um, kind of like box thingy, you're going to notice that you have two really awesome free things. One of them is the Kiroshi Optics MK2 and this is gonna be basically a free upgrade if you didn't get a chance to get the epic one yet from Victor or if you want an upgrade for free altogether and then you will get the threat detector from the same bag which as I've said will highlight all of the enemies. Moving on to the next one let's talk a bit about the gorilla arms and two really amazing legendary battery upgrades that you can also find for free if you do a bit of exploration. The first one is called the black market battery and you can surprisingly get this as a drop from one of the more advanced voodoo gang enemies 
in Pacifica. So as you cross the street you're going to notice that there's some police drones nearby, just pass over them like jump over this container onto this parking lot behind this area. And here is where you will encounter three enemies and one of them has a really high chance to drop the legendary black market battery. Now if you don't see it the first time what I recommend is to go ahead, um, go a little bit far away from it, come back as these enemies respawn all the time as most of the enemy gangs in this area will respawn anyway. And repeat this process until you get the black market battery from the main one that looks a little bit more menacing than everybody else. Um, do keep in mind that you might need to be a bit higher level to see the legendary quality since the drops and the qualities seem to be dependent on your main character's level. But as I've said, the effect is pretty good, it increases your max charge and charge damage of your gorilla arms by 100%, making it one of the best upgrades for them, especially if you're going against the Be The Brad mission or just, you know, if you like playing playing with Gorilla Arms. The next upgrade, also legendary quality for the Gorilla Arms is going to be the Renew Battery. So this is something that you also get during an assault in progress, but this time around it's in Kabuki Watson down by the main highway right here on this side of the map. Now what you need to do here is to just take down a bunch of Tiger Claw members and once you do that you're going to notice that there's this box right next to some of these blue containers and inside of it you should find the Renew Battery, legendary quality that makes it so that when you defeat an enemy it fully restores your stamina so if you want more of that it can be super useful otherwise you can completely disregard it for the previous black market battery i'm um, also on the same note since we are talking about legendary gorilla arms upgrade let's also talk about possibly the best one in the game again unfortunately it's not free it costs about 5,000 euro dollars but you can get this from the ripper dock in charter hill westbrook right here on this side of the map now as far as I know this seems to be the only legendary mod that um, goes in this slot for any of the cyber arm upgrades in the game but if there is anything else let me know down below. What this does is that it makes your attacks to now also apply a bleeding effect onto the target and they also look pretty cool like the knuckle skin that applies over it once you install these looks really awesome. Of course animal style so you can go in and punch everybody in the face and they will also bleed quite a bit. Moving on to number 3 let's talk about the mono wire and the really awesome early on upgrade that you can get also in Watson. So this is gonna be the thermal upgrade for the mono wire and from my knowledge the only one that you can get for free. You can get the other effects in exchange for money at many of the Ripper docks in the game but this is specifically free during an NCPD crime activity in Northside Watson next to mega building number 12 right here. So right next to this building across the road there's another one opposite of it and what you'll do in this case is just go behind this fence all the way up in the back up until you see the enemy group over there. Be careful because there is one with a shotgun that can one shot you on the higher difficulty but once you take them down you're going to see that there's this blue container right by the entrance that brings you in the same area. So what this does is that it makes your mono wire attacks to now also apply a burning effect to not just one target but to multiple targets at the same time of course being great against entire groups of enemies. And it also changes the color of your wire if you were wondering, so yeah, definitely a really awesome upgrade. But let's move over to number 4 and probably a big misconception that I saw a lot of people having. Like, of course, you got these upgrades, but what about the third slot in the cyber arm upgrades? Like, this is something that most people seem to not be able to use anything in, right? Well, there is actually a mod that does fit into that slot and that's called the sensory amplifier. And since this is a universal upgrade, it works with literally any of the cyber arm upgrades so the mantis blades the mono wire the other ones it works with all of these so there's gonna be multiple variants of these they can be with either crit chance crit damage health up and so on and so forth but in this video i'm going to concentrate on only two ones that provide crit chance and crit damage now the crit chance sensory amplifier is something that you get in the center of kabuki at this ripper dock right here in watson so it's gonna be really close to one of the main bridges right here. The effect is pretty straightforward, it just provides you a 10% straight up critical chance increase with the cyber arm you equipped it on. The second one is going to be crit damage, this provides an even better effect because it gives you a 30% critical damage increase for that cyber arm. You get this from the rider dock in Wellsprings, 
west of Haywood, right here on the side of the map. Now, there's a few things that you need to know about these sensor amplifiers first, because you might check your stats and notice that they don't really change. And the reason for that is because you don't actually change your main stats, but rather the stats on the item cards that have these installed upon them. So the stats only appear if you have those cyber arms equipped, drawn out and these specific mods put on them. So for example, for these gorilla arms that I have right here, you can see that there's a 30% crit damage increase and that's because I have the crit damage sensory amplifier on it. Now if I were to change it with something else of a different effect, like for example critical chance or health up, you would see that particular stat appearing instead of this one and again only works if you have that weapon drawn out. But yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below by also commenting, leaving a like and subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.